good, Charlie? Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. These crispy oven baked treats are such a favorite of my two year old Charlie. She loves these and also the big kids in my family love them too. These are my Asian style salmon and sweet potato tots. So I've got some sweet potato cooking already just in some boiling water here. They need a little bit longer. So let's get going on our salmon first of all. So the way we cook this salmon is going to add a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of natural seasoning into our sweet potato mix, which is great and also a good one for introducing salmon or seafood uh, into your little one's diet because mixed with that sweet potato, it kind of has a very creamy, mild flavour. Now I just want to start off with a little bit of oil in a hot pan and then add in some diced onion. And the key here is to exercise a little bit of patience. We want to wait until these onions are beautifully sweet and translucent. And to kind of help that happen, I'm going to add a little bit of salt because that helps to draw out the moisture from the onion, which helps us to get a beautiful cooked sweet texture. Okay, the onion's now starting to look good. I'm gonna add in my salmon. I've just cut it into little small chunks here. And that's also good for little ones because I can make sure that there's no little sneaky bones in there. Now when that salmon is just cooked through, I'm going to add in some soy sauce. Now the flavour of those sweet onions as they caramelise in that salty soy sauce is really something. It's really great. Now I'm just going to pile all of this into a large bowl. And now at this point, I think my sweet potato chunks are done. So I'll just drain them and put them straight in with the salmon. Now I like to keep this quite chunky. And so I'm just gonna use a wooden spoon to mix and mash this a little bit. That soft mash texture is what you're looking for. I'm gonna add in some spring onion as well. You could leave that out if your little one isn't amenable to green things in their food, but mine's not too bad. And then I'll just let this cool down a bit while I prepare my breadcrumbs. So we're using these panko breadcrumbs and I love them because they're really nice and light and crispy. But the one thing whenever you're baking things that are supposed to be deep fried, I find, is that you don't get an even colour on the crumbing on the outside of whatever it is that you're baking. So what I like to do is pre-brown my breadcrumbs. It gives you a toastier finish, a crispier finish and a better colour. So just heat up a wok, add a little bit of oil and now in go the breadcrumbs. Now it's important to keep these moving in here. You don't want them burning on the bottom. And now once you've got a nice light toasty colour, just tip that out into a large dish. Now to help make our little tots easier to shape. What I like to do is get my mixture out onto a tray. And then just spread it out into a rectangular shape. And now what you want to do is pop this in the fridge for about 45 minutes or until it's really chilled down so it's a bit firmer and you'll see how easy it makes it to form those little shapes later on. So my mixture is chilled down, it's a little firm. You just take a knife and cut rough rectangular shapes here. 
the approximate size that you want to have your croquettes or tots at the end. So now we're ready to crumb and I just need a couple of eggs in here. And you want to take a piece of your filling, drop that into your flour. And now usually I would advocate for the separate hands for wet and dry ingredients here, but that doesn't work here. You're going to need both hands to shape these guys. So get in there, sprinkle the flour on. And just pat that into a little cylinder. Okay, now drop that into your egg and just use a couple of forks to flip that over in the egg and then into the breadcrumbs. And onto a tray. And now the great thing about these is that breadcrumbs are nice and crispy and brown. The filling is cooked, so really we just want to pop these in the oven for about 10 minutes or so until they get an even crispier kind of outside very quick. All right, now have a look at that. Look at that beautiful, crispy, golden color on those little tots and no deep frying, yay! Okay, so all that's left to do is to pop this out onto a serving plate. And of course, so I told you my two-year-old loves these, but these are also great as like a party canapé. And they're even quite good when they're at room temp, so they're great for a picnic as well. Now loads of different dipping sauces are great here. My little one loves sweet chili sauce and I like a little bit of mayo with mine as well. So I've got two options there. And let's just have a look. Mm. You can have a look here and see it's so soft and creamy through the center and then you've got that beautiful crispy outside. Mm. So good. I could eat so many of these. <laughs> Nothing stopping me, I guess. Mm. Yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.